mainland. We're about to hop in this van. Thank you. So we got to the train airport. It's pretty small. Um, we're about to go check in really quickly. We got about, I think, two or three hours until our flight. So um, now we're gonna go get some food, relax, chill. Ooh, okay, I think this is gonna be it. Pretty smooth flight, an hour and a half. Now we're gonna grab our bags, hit the hotel. It's looking like an early night for me. I'm so tired. <laughs> we're waiting for a bowl or a grab, heading to the hotel. I need, can you guys see my eyes? Thank you. This is home for the next two nights. Actually looks pretty cozy. Um, pretty tiny, we got the AC. We got the bed. Bed test time. I'm not gonna lie, this is soft. Yesterday, I felt the springs. This? Yeah, I could do this. I could do this. A little shower. Let's see what this looks like. All right. It's so loud outside. I don't know where I am. I just booked it near the main, like, streets for the markets and all of that, so. We'll go have a look. All right, let's do this. Whoa, okay then. Um, do I put this back in? Okay. All right, this is where I'm staying. Oh, we got the coconut. We're gonna grab one of those on the way back. And a roti pancake. We're gonna grab one of those. Now we just need some food. I just ordered takeaway. We got some masaman chicken. Okay, now? Yeah. 170 bucks. Okay. That's for you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't deal with this right now. Not after being at a beach a lot. Definitely not. I'm about to eat up and call it a night. See you guys tomorrow. Hello. I've been laying up in bed all day. Haven't left. Haven't haven't moved an inch. I got delivery delivered. Well, I went down to the lobby. I just got ready. Put on my nice little dress. And I think I'm ready to go explore Bangkok for a little bit. I'm a little nervous. I don't do well with crowds. We're gonna do what we gotta do. We gotta show y'all the vibes out here, you know? So, let's go. Okay, first things first is I immediately need a coconut. All right, here we go, baby. Out into the world. I see coconut right there after I just bought pomegranate, but that's okay because I think I need something different today. So, um, I need to stop and drink this. I now realize that pomegranate juice in the U.S., that is fake as because this
Yes, sir. All right, next stop, we're trying to find some street food. Maybe some, uh, I need some protein. What we got over here? I don't know about that. What's this? Yeah, I want a sit down street food place. I just realized that I'm not in the right place for street food. I should go to the night market. So quick little Google search. And um, now we're off to the night market. I'm just waiting for a motorbike ride. I just asked the tuk-tuk if he would bring me. And he's, I said, how much? He said 400. I said, buddy, buddy, I've been in Thailand for like almost four weeks now, okay? So don't try to scam me on the prices. Yes. It's okay. I need something yummier than this. I like how this night market has a bunch of space to walk. A lot of the clothes are repetitive for women, I guess, but um, which is a good thing because sometimes if you want something for a certain price and they say no, you can just move on to the next vendor and they have the same exact Look at this sun hat. I really want this sun hat, but I can't fit it in my luggage. Nah, I need one of these. I actually do have one of these back home. I've noticed that the standard for women out here is like very, very petite. So when you're shopping for clothes, anything like past extra small counts as like plus size. I'm heading out of the night market just because everything's closing down and wasn't really feeling the street food. So I'm not sure where to go next, but we got the whole night ahead of us. Found a Taco Bell. Do we try it? Loki want to try Taco Bell in Thailand. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I got my Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell like maybe like under a year. It's definitely been like a year. I just got a little snack early, you know, we got a chicken quesadilla. And this was chicken quesadilla was 150 Thai bot. Crunchy taco was it's supreme too. 80 Thai bot. There's a wheat truck right in front of Taco Bell. Okay, we're going to Icon CM Mall. Um, wait, let me check out this one. Hello. Hello. Do you have um transportation of Ko Chang or Ko Kud? Yes. Is it bus? Yeah, we have like uh, a minibus and a bus, 1,000 baht per person can come to Pocha. Okay. Uh -huh, send you direct to hotel. How long is it? Five hours. Okay. In total. Okay. Yes. All right. Hey! So we are at the Icon CM Mall. I think it has eight floors. But we are here to explore the food. I heard they have like a really cool unique food court so we're gonna go do that so as you guys could see there's so many floors icon cm let's go baby we have variety of stuff to try uh, 
Yeah, I'm ready for this goodness. All right, starting off strong with some chicken dumplings. Okay, it took me forever to find a seat, so um, hopefully these aren't cold, but let's dig in. This is what it's looking like. This is the appetizer, so we got some chicken dumplings, six pieces with some soya sauce for 100 Thai baht. Mm -hmm. It's shoulder to shoulder in here, so crowded. The irritation level is like up to here. But, you know, food is calming me down. All I keep thinking about is the next island. Chicken dumplings, nine out of 10. It's cool that they have all these little food carts and it's like street food, but in the mall. Let's go back in the madness. Now looking for a main course. Um, I don't know what to look for. I guess I'll see it when I see it and I'll know it. But maybe like some curry, pineapple chicken, stir fried rice, something like that. Okay, next we have main course. We have pineapple fried rice with shrimp. And then we have coconut. It's like warm, but it's okay. Let's dig in. Cucumber. give this a 6.5 out of 10. Nothing um, special, I guess, but still yummy enough to satisfy the stomach. I think we're gonna splurge on dessert because I've seen some really cool stuff out there. Okay, I think I'm gonna get fruit on a stick and then crispy Thai pancakes. Um, maybe some mochi, yeah. All right, here it is. This shit looks good. What are these, cookies? What about the pink one? Can I try the coconut one? Yes, please, thank you. One blueberry. Can I have one of the green tea white chocolate chips? Sweet, yes, sweet one, please, thank you. Do you have coconut ice cream? Okay, we're back and we have a bunch of dessert. First, we'll try the coconut ice cream. I got it with condensed milk and mango and I don't know what this is, but let's try it. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm not sure, if I, I'm not sure I like it. The outside is like jelly-like, and then the inside tastes like a bean. I'm pretty sure it's like a soybean or something. Okay, coconut time. This is my first time eating coconut ice cream. It's not my favorite ice cream, but it's ice cream. The coconut ice cream with the mango, pretty good. Next, we'll try the Thai pancake. Never heard of this. It looks like there's like marshmallow in the middle. I don't know what this is. Let's try it. Stringy mango, I guess. 
No, I have no idea what it is. Okay, but let's try it. I like this. This is different. That's definitely marshmallow. I just don't know what the orange stuff is. It has a very sweet flavor though. Next we have the soybean cookie. Um, it's very pretty. I don't even want to eat it. Not a fan. It's definitely a unique taste. The middle is literally like soybean paste or something. Next we have a Japanese sweet potato with coconut in the middle. She said this is medium sweet, so. Not my favorite. Mm -mm. No. Don't like it. Had to take one more bite to make sure. It's not horrible. It's just um, not sweet at all. A green tea bubble waffle with white chocolate chips in the middle. It tastes like a typical waffle, except it's in a ball-like form. It's not bad. It's just not warm anymore, probably because I've been walking around. But the inside is pretty gushy and mushy. Okay, interesting. This one is the one I'm most excited for. It's fruit on a stick, and then I'm guessing it's just like a um, sweetened liquid sugar on top of it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This one's the best one. It just tastes like candy fruit. Like... They made the fruit into a candy. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, this is the one for sure. The only thing is that it's a little messy to touch, so. And last but not least, we have a blueberry mochi. Mmm. This is like double the sweetness of the fruit. It's kind of too sweet for my liking, but we're gonna finish it. Okay, now we're heading out of here and gonna go look for the next place to explore or just go home. So one of the things I've always envisioned doing in Bangkok was going to one of those rooftop bars and sitting there and checking out the whole view, overlooking all the buildings, so that's what we're doing next. Okay, so all the tables are full, so we have a ticket. It's 20 minutes to wait. There are a standing spot, but I definitely want to sit at a table, so we'll wait. Oh. Yeah.